We're getting chased by a fluffy white fat bear. got off the ferry into Barcelona and we were like really groggy and tired but coming into a new city is always really energizing and there's a nice bike path and this street artwork that was really cool to ride into so we're excited to be here. <laughs> After two days of exploring Barcelona, we're headed out of the city on La Rambla right now. I think Barcelona is by far the most bike-friendly big city we've ever been to. We've been on cycling lanes the whole way out of the city, which is incredible. Love it. After leaving Barcelona and going through a few little smaller cities on the outskirts, the last one was Terrassa. We headed up into the hills here. We've gained about 2,000 feet so far today, going up to a pass through a nice forested area. Day two of riding in Spain. Pretty much all morning we've been doing these uh, twisty canyon descents. Really cool area. Uh, kind of reminds us of Utah, where we lived before heading out on this trip. Just awesome rock walls. We're uh, headed towards Pamplona. It's about 300 miles, 500 kilometers from Barcelona. So maybe take us eight days or so. We thought we were gonna ride a highway, so we had the high vis vests on, but then we found something stupid we could push our bike through instead. But hey, it comes out to a gravel road here. Leaving wild camp on day three of at about 2200 feet, a little bit of a chilly night, but not a bad campsite on an old abandoned road. Nice overcast, frigid day. Uh, we're about 70 miles from Barcelona by now and really enjoying the riding. Only downside is that it's uh, cold and overcast, a little bit of a light rain.
just went through Cervera. It's a really pretty medieval town up on the hill there. And we're now on the ICAT, which is a Catalonian bicycle route. And finally stopped raining, which is nice. There are a bunch of cherry trees blooming and it's really pretty. been riding in Spain for a few days now. Yesterday we passed through more beautiful medieval towns than we could keep track of. Just every small village had lots of really neat architecture and pretty churches and buildings. And today we've been going through a lot of farmland. There's a pretty villa right next to me. And yeah, it's just been really pleasant riding so far. couple days have been a little bit challenging not so much because of the riding it's actually been really nice low traffic roads but we've been riding past a bunch of pig farms and I don't know if it's the time of year if there's a weird inversion or what but the smell was really overwhelming uh, and it was just like all day so that was a little bit rough but now we're in an area that still has a lot of agriculture but not as many pigs and we're very excited about that. Well, we had a long streak of good luck with the rain. All through Sardinia and most of Sicily, we didn't get much rain. But uh, Spain, it's been a little different. It's like 45 degrees, pretty chilly rain. Just had a big downhill, and the downhills are always where you get the most soaked. You just uh, collect all the rain as you go down the hill. You usually look forward to downhills, but in the rain, it's like, ah, oh, oh no, I'm gonna get soaked in uh, cold. So we've made it about 200 miles since leaving Barcelona. Started out with some uh, beautiful mountains right out of the city. Then we went through about 100 miles of farmland with lots of uh, kind of depressing pig farms. We could hear them squealing and smell them all the time. Not great. 
but we made it to this wonderful gorge. our fifth campsite in Spain. We had a really nice ride through the mountains to get here. We're up at about 3,200 feet, which is the highest we've been in a pretty long time, but it's not too cold. It might snow tomorrow, um, but yeah, kind of in a cow field, uh, but really pretty views, so it's a good sight. Well, we didn't get snow, just rain. It's been raining all morning, and it seems like it's going to keep raining but at least there's no traffic and the views are beautiful. Nice foggy mountains. It's probably like 37 out, a little bit chilly, but uh, not too bad. after a couple hours of riding in the rain. Pretty used to it by now. Riding in the rain isn't as bad as I always think it's going to be. You kind of just put your head down and go. Once you've got your gear on and you've prepared with, you know, enough waterproof gear that you're going to be comfortable, you just ride. It's not that bad. You can kind of zone out. It doesn't really make any sense to stop because you're just gonna be standing in the rain, so it's kind of freeing in a way. We found some shelter under a bus stop, and we're uh, eating some snacks. <laughs> See blue sky, first time today, pretty exciting. It's still raining right now, but there's a chance it's gonna stop. I don't know, it looks pretty bad over there though. escort through this town.
after three days of riding in pretty much middle of nowhere, we suddenly came across some sort of event at a castle. No idea what this is about. We got 2% alcohol beer with lemon donut as a pre-dinner snack. And this is going to be our campsite tonight. It's another cow field, but not too bad. Lots of cow manure. We're approaching the top of our last climb before dropping down into Pamploma. Nice foggy morning. You can see my breath. The rain finally stopped in time for us to leave camp. And uh, hopefully it doesn't kick back up before we get to the hotel. Made it to Pamploma.